Our first project is called the Collaboration About Me Quarter Round. This is a project that allows you to get to know everyone at your table. Before we get started with the details about this project, let's go over your expectations for you during this video. So there should be no conversations going on. There should be no talking. You should be listening to this video. If you have any questions, save them for the end of the video. And we'll answer all of them. You should be learning about the project. If you need to use the restroom or get a drink, let's wait until the end of the video. You should be actively listening so you know what to do later and we'll know if you're successful if you know what to do with this project. Um, you don't need any technology, so that should be stowed away. For this collaboration about me quarter round, we are looking for whether you can collaborate with others. And the purpose of it is for you to get to know your group and so that whoever looks at your guys's project altogether knows a little bit more about you and your group. Um, and the challenge is to collaborate all together on the design and the completion of this project. So here is the worksheet that you all are gonna be receiving. Um, you can see here that it is one quarter of a circle. Um, so when we put them all together, it will make a full circle. Um, so that's why we call it a quarter round. Um, so here on the directions, the first step is just to get to know your group. So maybe say, hi, my name's Mrs. Johnson. What's your name? And learn everyone's names first. But then you can talk about your different interests, your backgrounds, your hobbies, uh, what are your favorite things, and find out what similarities and differences you guys have. So you just wanna like talk about the things that make you you, because everyone is different, but you might have some common things um, with your group. Um, next, you're gonna discuss and decide as a group the order of topics for each section. So um, there is one, two, three, four, five, six different rainbow pieces or arches. So you're going to decide what order you want each topic to go in. So maybe that outermost rainbow piece is going to be something about your family. So everyone will have something about their family on that one. The next one, let's say you all decide the next one is your name. You're all going to design your name um, and so on and so forth. So everyone's order of topics should be the same. Um, after you guys have discussed like the order, you are going to pick two of the sections at least um that have that like go together so let's say that um the biggest section like right there in the middle let's say you're going to do a design for that and everyone's should look like they go together so let's say you're going to do a design with all shades of green everyone in the group should be a shade of green for that one or maybe everyone's favorite animal is a cat and so maybe one of the section everyone is going to draw cats or something so you got to decide together the order of topics as well as figure out which two are going to actually match so there'd be like similarities when you're all done with that you are going to cut that square out um, there's a dotted line where you can cut and you are going to also put your name and class period on the back so something to note about this project is that these are going to be displayed together with your groups. So you really need to follow the directions closely. You don't want yours to look like it doesn't belong. Um, you will be turning these in individually, but you will take a picture of it next to one another. So you really need to make sure that you are working together so that all kind of flows seamlessly. Here is an example of one that isn't colored yet, but you can see on the outside, it's stuff about their family. The next row, um, Mrs. Dow did her name. The next one, she did school. So she did art stuff. Then she did a design and then she did an animal. So this would be an example of how you guys would discuss that order, but you'd need to make sure that you have two sections that kind of go together. So maybe the next person, their pattern would be the same thing with the same colors. Next, we have an example of some of them displayed together as well as some that are up close. So you can see sometimes we do a full circle. A lot of times we'll kind of like arrange it so it shifts a little bit, but it looks pretty cool when they're all next to one another and it's all about you guys. And here's another example of some up close pieces that are arranged together. So you can see those top two really go together. That bottom one though, I don't know if they listen very well. So, or if they work very well. So we can see here two people that really collaborated and one that kind of went off and did their own thing. So it's really important that you are collaborating. That's what we're looking for. When you have you know, discussed with your group everything, 
you've actually made it, you've colored it, you've cut it out, you will go onto Canvas, go to modules, and you'll look for that collaboration about me quarter round assignment. You'll then click on the assignment, and sometimes you can either just scroll all the way down and go submit assignment, or you can click on start assignment and then go to the next page that will allow you to submit. Remember that when you are submitting your assignment, you are taking a photo of your whole groups, um, and then you will receive individual credit for your group's work. So we're looking to see, are you collaborating? Does it go together? That's the big thing. We wanna see you working together and getting to know one another. We're not grading on, uh, can you draw a realistic elephant? Or can you draw a realistic science beaker if you're doing a school theme? We're looking for, can you work together? Also, very important is, anytime you are turning something in on Canvas, you need to make sure that you get that confetti or else it doesn't count as being turned in. So we highly recommend taking a photo of it, saving it to your camera roll, and then trying to upload. So if the Wi-Fi is down or your Canvas isn't working, you have it saved on your camera roll to upload at a different time. All right, I know you all are super excited to get started, but let's talk about some expectations going forward for during work time. You should be talking quietly at your table, getting to know one another and starting that planning process for your project. If you need help, just raise a hand or you could ask a neighbor. Um, we'll be learning about each other and making that plan um, and completing our actual worksheet. Um, if you need to use the restroom or get a drink, just ask first, make sure you sign out. And if you need supplies, they're at the center island, just make sure you return anything that you use. Um, we'll know that you're participating because we can see if you're actively listening, uh, contributing ideas, um, and actually working together. And your success will be determined on um, how well you guys collaborate and your Canvas upload. So technology expectations is you really shouldn't need it. If you need to look up an idea, that's fine, but your iPad should be in the bins because you don't really need them right now. You should be getting to know one another and making that plan together. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and we are right here to help you.